This is a payroll for Excel. It is a self-made payroll for Excel. So I want to take you through what is this payroll for Excel entail. So if you look at my worksheet here, I have the, the worksheet called Employees Detail. I have another worksheet called Employees Master Roll. I have another one. This April, it is just uh, maybe every month. It depends. Then I have another tab called KRA, NHIF, NSSF, uh, P910, and Payslip. Pay slip. And the lastly is a P9 form. So I will take you through all this so that you can be able to see what are these Excel uh, simplified payroll is. Now, come first to this first worksheet. So this payroll, it has the employee detail where you will put the employee number, the employee number, we normally put the employee number. And then uh, whenever you have a person, you as an employee of the company, you must have the KRA pin for the purpose of pay. You must have the pay. Also, you must have the name. You must have the name. You must have the ID number. Very good, very necessary. Also, you must have the account number for the purpose of payment. For the purpose of payment. You must also have the NHIF. NHIF and also the NSSF, na NSSF number. This is how the simple employee data should look like. If you want to add more for your own, you can add maybe this employee is working on which department, it is handling which role, then you can just insert any column here and put your own data. Okay, so get me clear. Here, there is no any formula here. If you click here, there is no any formula inside here. There is no any formula. You just fit this data here manually. So once you fit this data manually, it will be automatically updated in master role. It will be automatically updated in master role. So you will come here on master role. You will find that if I go to the first one, the payroll number, you can see this payroll number, it is linked to the employees detail, it is linked to the employee's detail all the way to the number, number 27. Also the employee name, the employee name, you can see I have used an extra Excel file called the VLOOKUP. So you can see the VLOOKUP here, the more important is to check this part. You can see this part, it is from employee's detail. So we are extracting the names, we are extracting the name from the employee's detail. Also the ID, the account number so all these detail all these detail let me color so that you can be able to see so all that detail we are extracting from uh from the employees detail for example let me change the first one to be uh abel if i write abel if i write abel can we see abel in this yes so you can see here it will update to abel it will update to abel so that uh, I can change back to uh, here. So here, you just, even if you have a new employee, we just uh, indicate, you put another column here and just put that employee. So it will appear here. It will appear here. Now, we have the total gross pay. The total gross pay, we don't fit the master role. The total gross pay, it is coming from the monthly payroll. This one is coming from the monthly payroll. You can see my formula here, uh, my monthly payroll, it is from April. So this gross amount, uh, put another formula here, it will not affect. Let me undo this. Okay, that's fine. So you can see these values are coming from April. So when you come to April, we have the surname, which is the payroll number. We have the name. We have the basic uh, pay. We have, if there is any benefit, then you have there. So you will get the basic pay plus the benefit. We get the total gross, gross amount. You can see this one is a very simple formula that is adding that one and that one. So this amount, this amount will be extracted in the master role. We are using a very good formula to extract that value here in the main the master role, to extract that value in the master role. For example, if I change this value, let me change this one to 900. I change this one to 900. So you can see 
If I change that one to 900, this one has changed to 925. Also, it must change in the master role. So you'll find that master role here has changed. I hope you are keeping these changes. I hope you are following how it flow, right? I want you first uh, know how it flows. So once you, uh, so we have said the data here, this one, this one, it is from the April, that is the monthly payroll. And then uh, also here, it is from the money payroll, NHIF, NSSF, uh, PE, and also PE. So up to this part. So let me color this one up to this part with a uh, different color. The different color. Let me put uh, which one? Put blue. Yeah. So this one, it is coming from the payroll, which is April. In our, for, our, for, our, for our case here, it is the April. And then the net pay is just, uh, the net pay also is coming from the April. So I think I should color all this. The net pay is also coming from the month of April. Actually, everything here, any deduction, everything here is coming from the month of April. So this master roll, you are not going to beat anything. You will not going to type anything in this master roll. So it is automatic. It's update automatic. It's update automatic. And the last one here, is just a formula it is just a pure formula yeah that is the net, the net minus the total deduction so this one it is very simple you can update here you put your own deduction but we know the common deduction here is the basic pay nhif nsf pay and then here you can now put the, your own deduction according to your company policies and what is the activities of that company so from there from there then we come now where there is a, so you can see in monthly payroll here, I have two parts. I have this part where there is no formula. So here we only have, here we don't have the formula here, but here we just have a formula sum, this one plus that one. And then you come to the, you see where, where I separated the gross and the net, it is for the purpose of printing. You can't print all this sheet in one workbook. So that's why I separated for the purpose of printing. Now, on the salary net pay, on the salary net pay, we also, you don't need to put here, also this data as is coming from the master roll. Also, this one is coming from the master roll. Then uh, even the, the gross earning, it is coming from here. That is the gross earning, it is very linked. It is very linked with the formula. It is very linked with the formula. So all these things here, you can see also pay, PE, it is calculated automatic. You are not going to calculate anything in this payroll. So you don't know. So here we have the formula. So I can color here. So we have the formula here, which calculate the, it calculate the PE, it calculate the NHIF, and it's step all the way. So for example, you change it, let's change this one to, to zero. You see uh, 25%, 25%, uh, you are not going to pay. This one is uh, 25%. How much pay are you paying for 25 percent? For 25, let's say we earn at 26, let's have a thousand here. We earn at 26, we see if we yes. So if you're earning um, a gross salary of uh, a gross salary of uh, that five, a gross salary of that five, you pay a pay over over 24, 17. So we can confirm that one with RN software or any wing winku. If we if we earn that five thousand as a gross, how much pay are we going to pay? Okay, so just write like Wingo Box. Wingo Box pay. We confirm if we earn that five, are we going to get uh the pay the right value? We're going to get the pay the right value. So come here, say uh for the month of July, okay. Uh, monthly salary, we give the gross of that 5,000. Then we sit here, we use the, uh, this is basic. Uh, we use the tire one and tire two. Then we say calculate. So you say calculate, say calculate, you can see our PE is 24, uh, 16.78. So I have round off mine. That's why it is 24, uh, 17. Let's confirm also the NHIF if it is the same. Let's confirm the NHIF if it is the same. NHIF is uh, 950, NSSF, NSSF is 1080, and then uh, what is after NHIF? Uh, housing levy is 